Awesome. So do you remember how we started with our strums? And we said ta and ti? Yeah. Let me show you TT. So you know what I mean for TT. We're gonna add an upstroke now that you've got the pick and you're getting ready for this. We'll go T T T T T T T T. Yes. Okay, so that's down up, down up, down up, down up. Uh -huh. Great job. And our next thing was squeezing the strings. And you remember how we did that? You just get one note and then start working your way up with your fingers. Let me see how you do that. And just one note, just one note. And you can even start with the, the thinnest string. Yeah. Great job, that's excellent. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Okay, I wanna add something new. Are you ready for something new? Okay, here's what we're gonna do with something new here. We're gonna take and use two fingers. And then see if you can move, yeah, and then move to another finger and let go so that the other finger's there. So you can make two notes. Let go with your second finger so that your first finger's there. Take a look at mine and, and listen and see how it sounds. I go two and then one and it sounds lower. Yeah. Uh-huh. Good, very good. Try that for me with the thinnest string. And see if you can get a different sound using a different finger. There, yes. Good. So watch mine one more time. See mine up close here? I'm gonna do one, and then two, and then one. Exactly. Great job. Next thing. Okay, so. You're going to switch over and you're going to switch to left hand and we're going to try that and see how that works. So this, the way you've got your guitar set up right now is left handed. And the first thing that I want you to know is that we are like a mirror of each other. So it's like you're looking in the mirror. Does that make sense? Yeah. So your guitar neck is pointing that way and my guitar neck is pointing that way before they were like this. Now, they're like this. So that's gonna change how things look. Does that make sense? Okay, so we'll be talking about that more as we go across, as we find it in um, songs, as we see that happening, that things look different, then we'll fix it, because they look different. Um, what about songs? I've been practicing jingle bells. Excellent job. You're ready for more of that, aren't you? Good. Okay, play your second string for me. I want to hear if it's in tune. Good. Okay. So those two are very close to being in tune. Turn, Play your third string for me. Good, it's just barely below mine. And the next one. Good. Okay, so let's just get let's get the first two and then we can do some jingle bells. Do you want to do that? You want to do some more jingle bells? And then we can move on and do um Eye of the Tiger. I'm gonna do Eye of the Tiger. Do it now.
Great job! Okay, I have something cool to show you today. Are you ready to go on like a field trip? Okay. Okay, just a second. Just a second. That's the field trip. Okay, first we gotta do this. Okay, are you ready? What do you think? Sound familiar? You recognize it, right? Okay, here's the field trip. Okay, I don't know how this is gonna sound. I haven't done an electric guitar this way. So we'll have to see. Um. What do you think? I love it! <laughs> I need to show my dad this. I heard I saw it. <laughs> okay, so it's pretty different, right? I mean, it's... It's really different. I mean, okay, wait. The sound is really different. That's pretty cool. What's that? Uh, it's a toy called Voltron. Voltron. I remember Voltron. I thought I recognized that. Okay, so the main thing I wanted you to notice about the Eye of the Tiger is it sounds really different with the electric guitar, but playing it is exactly the same. Okay, does that make sense? Electric Can I go to strumming with my pick? Yes, let's do it. All right. Nice work. Okay, I want to show you something. Are you ready? We're going to do this. We're going to lightly touch the strings. And then we're going to go. Very good. Even, even lighter with your left hand. Just really light. And that's over here. Oh, it's going to be your right hand. Yeah, yeah. So really lightly touch the strings, but don't squeeze. Yeah. And then hit over here very good so the guitar is a lot like a drum and right now we're playing it like a drum and this is my favorite way to start out playing the guitar I do it every day Very good. You're getting it. So, hey, how's it going, Voltron? It's going well. Nice. So, you can see how sometimes we're hitting just downs, and sometimes we're hitting downs and ups. So that's another thing for you to mess around with this week, is see how you do switching between just downs and downs and ups. Yep, and we can go faster too. Are you ready to try faster? Nice job. Okay, let me show you something. Bottom string.
Do your thickest one, it'll sound cool. Yeah, yeah. There you go. It's almost like a separate thing if you just play one string compared to all of them. It's almost like a different instrument. And one way that I can make that happen is if I touch all of the strings but the thickest one. So I'm touching all of those and then I can accidentally hit other ones. Right, but that one will sound. Good, yup. So you see the way I'm doing that with my left hand here? I'm touching five of the strings, but I'm leaving the sixth one, so it will ring. Very good. That's called a left hand mute. Very good. Good, you're going between open strings and muting. That's another thing that we do. You're learning all kinds of stuff today. Are you ready to play Eye of the Tiger for me again? Or do you want to go back to Jingle Bells and do some tuning so we can get Jingle Bells? Uh, I want to do some tuning with Jingle Bells. Okay. I, I can go get my pitch pipe. Why don't you try matching to me and let's see how that goes? Because I think it might be quicker. Yep. So we want that string to go up until it matches mine. So which way does it turn? Just try turning it and see how it sounds while you turn it. Pick it. Now it's going down, so we want to go the other way. Turn the other way. A little more. And now slow down. Keep going. Almost there. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. You're doing really good. It, this, this part takes patience. You have to go slow and you're doing it just right. Almost. Just about perfect. Tiniest bit more. Did you hear it go smooth? They're the same now. Okay. The string is going to fall as the days go by and it's going to go out of tune because it just stretches. Let's try the second. Go ahead. Let's try the second. Yeah. It's pretty low, huh? So you'll have to turn it that same direction and make it match mine. You are doing really well with this. There, you nailed it. Not so much, that's good. Almost, just a tiny bit higher. down just a bit. It's moving around. It's not your fault. You're doing this perfect. There you go. You got it. Great job. Okay, let's add in some more jingle bells, all right? I'm going to show you what I've got, and I'm going to make sure that you have this today, okay? So I have music to jingle bells that I made, and I'm going to send this to your dad. And it's got links on the bottom to videos that you can watch of me playing it and explaining it, all right? So you can go back to this this week and review it. Now, the next part of Jingle Bells, you know how we did? Great job! Now we gotta go one, three, Zero. Good, but you got to do the one three on the second string. So see how I'm using the other string? So make sure with your right hand or your left hand that you're picking the second string. So take a look at your left hand and it's got to go one string higher right here. Yes, perfect. Yep. And now we're gonna go one, three. This is kind of hard, huh? You're doing a great job.
Yes. Do you see what I'm doing there? The way that I go. One, three. And yours isn't going to sound the same. Good. And then move it up to three. Or up some. Does that make sense? Yes. There you go. So we're going to start adding in notes on other strings. And then we go back to the first string. Okay, let me show you what we just did. So you can see it. Can you see the first line of the music there? Yeah. And it goes zero, 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 three. And the zero, three is right there. And then it goes one, three, zero. So it starts out here and goes Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Where are we going to get to, oh, what fun it is to you, right? That's the next line right here. And that one goes one, 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 zero, 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 three, three, zero, three, three. So it sounds right, but it's a bunch of new numbers, isn't it? Now, yeah. you can try that this week if you want. I'm going to send you the music, and you're going to have all of the notes in front of you. And as you get your guitar in tune, it's going to sound right when you play it right, okay? So part of the process this week is going to be using your pitch pipe to get those top two strings in tune. And we'll see how that goes, all right? When are we going to start playing country songs? We can start playing country songs. I was thinking about, okay, check this out. This is Johnny Be Good. I know Johnny Be Good. So that's the rhythm guitar part of Johnny Be Good. And that's used in a bunch of country songs. And we can start on that really soon. We can start on that when you start getting the strings in tune and we can start playing on the bottom strings like I was showing you earlier today. You know how I was showing you the right? That's going to be part of those walking guitar lines that we're going to do. Let me play one for you so you can hear where we're going, okay? Okay. Is that Flash? Uh, no, it's just a soccer guy that broke off a trokey. Oh. Trokey. It's gold. That's pretty cool. Okay, so here's what's called a, a boogie woogie, and there's a whole bunch of stuff that you're going to recognize that is based on this. And we'll be able to do this really soon. Sound familiar? So that's a, a boogie woogie, and that's going to be in a whole bunch of songs that you're going to recognize and, and be able to play it with. So that's something that we can start working on in the next few weeks. Okay. Does that sound oh. good? Yep. All right. Did I answer your question? Yep. All right. We better stop for today. Great work today. Do you do other kids? I sure do. What are their names? Jaden and Luke and Al and I've got all kinds what, of kids. What, what's, what's Luke's last name? Luke's last name, Luke, is Luke, and he's 12. Oh, I had a friend named Luke who's 7 years old. He lives, like, right across my street. Nice. Luke's been taking lessons with me for several years. His, How yeah, good is he? He's How pretty good. good. He? He's pretty good. He'd already taken guitar lessons before he started taking lessons with me, so he's been playing a long time. He's probably been playing, like, four years. And I just put one of his videos on my YouTube channel just a couple days ago. So you could check out one of his guitar lessons on my YouTube channel if you want to. Okay. Cool. All right. Well, thank you very much. You did great today. Thanks. And if you come up with any questions, don't hesitate to send them to me and I'll do my best to answer them. Okay? Okay. All right. I'll talk to you next week. Bye. Bye.